Hey there guys, how are you? And today I have another DVD collection update. Hmm, I'm sorry, that was a bad impression. Um, anyway... Uh, yeah, it's been maybe three weeks since the last update. So I'll give you... You know, I actually f recorded this update a few days ago. But I lost all the footage. Oh dear, I didn't save it properly, did I? So, yeah, let's... Let's see how we get on. The first one I got, which is a Blu-ray, is Inception. And I did like this film so much that I'm going to put the cover of this Blu-ray up on my wall for anyone who comes into my lovely bedroom to see. Oh, that is a good cover. You should look it up. And I might do a movie review, you know, of Inception. This film has inspired, is inspiring me to maybe make my own movie. And, anyway, the bonus features on this, as maybe you know, are the extraction mode, dreams, cinema of the subconscious, and I think they spelled subconscious wrong, and Inception, the cool, the cool job. And this is the ultimate high-def Blu-ray. And... So there you go. The next one, and I went to my local second-hand shop, and in there they had all these, like, 50 cents DVDs. So I had to get at least one of the second-hand DVDs. And I think the first DVD I got in there was Batman Begins. Um, and I have seen The Dark Knight. I haven't seen The Dark Knight Rises or the Tim Burton Batman films or the ones by Joe Schumacher and thank God for that. <laughs> I hear Batman Robin is a terrible, terrible film. But Batman Begins, maybe this will... I haven't watched this yet. Okay, I watched some of it on TV when it was on. And it might be better than The Dark Knight. The Dark Knight uh, was very groundbreaking and everything. But this... Uh, oh, by the way, this is the One Disc Edition DVD. As I told you, it was 50 cents. In terms of bonus features, it's just the movie and the, the theatrical trailer. And I have to say, if you're not going to put... Uh, Features on a blue on a DVD, always include the trailer. Uh, the next one I got is the first James Bond film, Doctor No, Doctor No, as I pronounce it. And my granddad, uh, my granddad Paddy, uh, he was a big fan of this film. He maybe went to see it when it came out. And and this DVD was only two fifty. And they had a yeah. This is the ultimate Bond experience. It's got the ultimate picture, frame by frame digital restoration. I would love to do some digital restoration myself. Uh, there's superior superior sign. All new DTS 5.1 audio. I didn't know that you could even have that on a DVD for a while. And the best collection of special features ever assembled for Bond. Yeah, that's the Ultimate Edition, as I might have said. It's got a very nice cover. And haven't watched this yet, but I will uh, watch it this week. I am recording this video on the 12th of June, 2018. 
So, there you go. The next one I got, which uh, some people call it um, the downfall of this franchise, but I might like it. I might like it. It's Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, Dead Men Tell No Tales, or Salazar's Revenge. And this was only eight bucks, uh, second, ha second hand, obviously. Uh, I normally wouldn't say this in a video, but this was owned by Christopher H. And I own a lot of Christopher H's DVDs, apparently. <laughs> Captain Jack has a swagger back, says Digital Spy. Hmm, yeah. Not er I don't think everyone would agree with that. Uh, anyway. Correct me if I'm wrong, but... Um, anyway. The disc, uh, this is just a DVD version. And... Um, yeah. I haven't watched this yet, but I'll watch it maybe, Jesus, maybe tonight. Goody. And so those I, I did buy a video game as well. I bought Star Wars Battlefront. And not the second one, the, the first one. And Star Wars Battlefront, I was playing it at the weekend. Was it a good game? Well, uh, I played the PlayStation 4 version, by the way. Not the, the Xbox One version. And... If that's okay? As you probably know, it was made by EA Games. And in terms of EA, I think I prefer Battlefield 1 as a game. But which I did did uh, mention in one of my updates, I think. You know, I did mention uh, Battlefield, one, Battlefield 1, but uh, Star Wars Battlefront, I love to swing my lightsaber as Darth Vader and, you know, kill 23 enemies. Uh, as inter interesting as that is to say. And... Yeah, I didn't play the multiplayer. I played it by myself, because why the hell not? And the last two DVDs that I got from Tesco's uh, are darkest... Well, one, the one I got on release date for maybe twelve ninety nine or thirteen ninety nine is... Sorry, Darkest Hour with Gary Oldman. Yes, and Gary Oldman says in this movie. So what do I think of this? Uh, all I'm going to say is, Gary Oldman says in this movie, You cannot compete with a tiger when your head is in its mouth. <laughs> um, very good dialogue. So that film... Uh, I did see it in cinemas. Pirates of the Caribbean, Salazar's Revenge. I didn't see that in theaters. But I did see Darkest Hour. Darkest Hour. And in terms of the DVD, this might be... Actually, no, it's not Hesco exclusive. It's just a DVD and the digital. 